We're going to bring up your, your next speaker. That's going to be the wonderful, magnificent Chris James. If you talk about how much you hate your fat, your body has been working all this time to keep you alive. I don't think anybody in my circle understands me. What's going on, everybody? Chris James here. Today, we are going to be talking about the absolutely insane benefits of alternate day fasting. Today, uh, this video I've actually had on my list to do for a while. And what kind of reminded me to even do this video was I was doing an interview from one of our participants from the 21 Day Fasting Challenge. And they were talking about how when you go and you look for information, especially as it relates to weight loss or just health information, there's so many different methods to accomplish a particular goal. You know, uh, my mom used to say there's always more than one way to skin a cat. I say there's more than one way to peel an avocado uh, because Mel doesn't like when I talk about skinning cats. But the point is, with so many different methods that you can use to lose weight, it gets very confusing and Um, the information that really works and is really going to help you kind of gets lost in the sauce. So I wanted to talk about alternate day fasting. Now, this is something that, you know, I probably talked about a little bit in the past, but I want to point out some benefits of alternate day fasting. Some of you guys might be familiar with, some you might not have actually thought about. So let's see if we can give you a different perspective. Uh, Hit that like button if you guys are enjoying my content. You know how we do. We've been putting out content for the past, what, six and a half years. So, you know, keep supporting, hit the like button, share it, all that good stuff. All right. So obviously the big one is weight loss. Isn't that the elephant in the room? I mean, most people want to fast because they're interested in losing weight. So how much weight can you use with lose with alternate day fasting? That becomes the question. Now we have a, we have a formula for weight loss. It's two pounds per day. Every day that you do a water fast, you lose two pounds per day on average. And that average holds fairly true um, as long as you fast 14 days or less. So if you're fasting for seven days, the average amount of weight loss is going to be 14 pounds. Now, that's going to come from somebody who's either new to fasting, isn't consistently fasting, or somebody who hasn't fasted in a while. Obviously, if you've been using fasting as a weight loss tool for a while now, that weight loss does decrease. But it only goes down to about one pound per day on average, which is still incredible. There's really no healthy weight loss options out there that are going to consistently give you a pound a day. Even half a pound a day is absolutely incredible. So there's no real discouragement there. Fasting is a great tool. Now, there's a caveat when it comes to the weight loss, and that's going to be what foods are you eating when you do eat. So what is alternate day fasting? It is where you're going to fast on Monday, you're going to eat on Tuesday, you're going to fast on Wednesday, you're going to eat on Thursday. So every other day, you alternate between eating and fasting. There's a couple important things to keep in mind when you're doing this if you want to get the most out of it. Number one, prep. Just because you're doing alternate day fasting and you're technically only fasting for a 24-hour period of time, you still want to prep. Why? Because when you prep, especially if you go through our prep, you're going to be preparing your system to eliminate. Remember, especially if you've never really done any detoxing before, your elimination pathways are closed, they're blocked, they're slow functioning. When you start fastening and you start dumping toxicity from the fat into your elimination pathways, if they're blocked, they're slow functioning, your weight loss is going to be less. You're going to have harsher detox symptoms. You don't want that. So you want to prep. The prep is going to include increasing water intake. This is never negotiable. You always want to be doing this. And even to this day, I still get people saying, oh, I didn't know about the prep. So I do my best to always at least mention it. You can go find another video. Um, I have got a playlist called Fasting 101 where you can find more information specifically on how to prep, but make sure you prep first. All right. Now, I always tell people when you're looking at an alternate day fasting schedule, you want to look at it from the standpoint of 
you're fasting the entire time that you're doing the alternate day. So let me see if I can make this make sense. Let's say that you decide you're going to do alternate day fasting for 30 days or one month. That means roughly 15 days out of the month, you're going to fast. 15 days out of the month, you're going to eat. Now, you could look at that as, well, every other day I'm fasting. I do a 24-hour fast and that's it. But what I want you guys to do is look at it as a 30-day fasting period right? Because the days that you eat, you still want to be extremely mindful about what you put in your body. The reason why is because there is what I call the dark side of fasting, where you fast, you open up the elimination pathways, you lose weight, you start to see hormones balance. And then if you keep bouncing back to really bad eating habits, um, your body is not well equipped anymore to handle maybe some of the stress that you put on your system prior to doing something like this. And then you can see issues that you never really saw before. So you want to make sure that you're being intentional during the entire duration of time. So if you're doing it for a month, um, in between your fasts, if you want to optimize this thing, I want you all to uh, be eating no more than two meals, okay? Because the, the beautiful thing about alternate day fasting, one of the greatest benefits is you get to cut your 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 uh, caloric intake in half, right? Because you eat one day and you don't eat the next. But what you do not want to do is get in the habit of trying to make up for what you didn't eat on Monday when you were fasting by double eating on Tuesday. So limit your meals to two meals per day with no snacking in between, right? Just, just maybe lunch and dinner or however you kind of want to do it. And if you're going to eat those two meals, I would recommend having at least one raw dish in that. And, and, and really, the raw dish doesn't have to be anything big or significant. But when you break your fast, you want to break it with raw food, fruit, specifically like, you know, find some apples, some oranges, uh, some watermelon, some squash or, you know, an avocado or something like that. Eat it raw, maybe make a salad or something like that. That's going to help tremendously. Because you're going to basically reintroduce food back to your system uh, very delicately, and then you can have something heavier in the in you know later on in the day if you want. Now, one of the great benefits of alternate day fasting is you get to schedule events, um, um, you know, special occasions, you know, nights out with the fellas, nights out with the girls, whatever. You can schedule those days to be eating days. And then that way, you don't just feel like a leper when you go out with your friends, because let's face it, in modern times, most of us, when we do anything, whether it's going to the park to throw Frisbee, going to a wedding, going to a concert, going to the movies or whatever, party night, we're eating, we're going to eat. And so one of the big issues that a lot of people have with fasting long term is they feel like they can't hang out with their friends or whatever. So this is an opportunity to continue to have a social life schedule your your social activities on the days that you eat but you want to be diligent about bringing your body out of that fasted state with something healthy some fruit vegetables you know some soup or something like that um, before you get into any heavy eating the other thing too i want you guys to do is make sure to keep your water intake high especially on the days that you're there you're going to be eating this is going to help you digest better you know just be more efficient overall all right so <clears throat> you have the social aspect of it that makes it a little bit easier. You've got the weight loss aspect of it. Remember, we're talking two pounds per day on average. So if you do it for 30 days, you're roughly going to lose about 15 pounds. All right. And it's and if you eat raw and you and you kind of do lean more towards healthy foods, stay away from the meats, dairy products, processed foods, refined sugars on your eat days, then you may boost your weight loss. OK, now, in addition to that, you're also going to get some amazing hormonal regulation. If you're a woman later on in your 30s, your early 40s, and you're beginning to experience menopause, this is going to help greatly with balancing your hormones. And I know late 30s, early 40s sounds early for menopause, but I'm telling you, times are changing, okay? Our, our bodies aren't holding up as well as they used to. So women are experiencing this much earlier and may not even be aware of it. However, you can actually begin to balance your hormones through something like alternate day fasting. This goes for women. This also goes for men. 
And men, in modern time, we're dealing with the estrogen, estrogen dominance, okay? We get artificial estrogen everywhere. It's in everything. And we're dealing with low testosterone. So alternate day fasting can help boost testosterone and filter out that artificial estrogen, right? Make men get their deep their voice deeper, get the hair going again, you know, get your sexual performance back. So, and that this is just the tip of the iceberg, but hormonal balance works for male and female. All right. And also, if you guys are looking to conceive and have a baby, maybe you're having issues, get your get your partner, get your husband, get your wife, whatever. Get them on the same page. If you all start alternate day fasting together, you'd be surprised at what you can accomplish in 30 days just by increasing your water, being very, very diligent with your alternate day fasting and eating raw on your eat days. You may find that you conceive much more seamlessly. OK. So some of you all might know my story. I've told it many times, but one of the issues that I personally dealt with were heart palpitations. And this was back in my 20s. Um, it probably started to get really, really noticeable, like late 20s, 27, 28, somewhere around there. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm going to have a heart attack one day. Like I just knew, first of all, very young. Why am I having heart issues? But I'm like, okay, like, I don't know what's going on, but I, I know where this leads, right? So I started fasting, and one of the things I noticed was my heart would be irregular more when I fasted versus when I wasn't fasting. But I was going to stay the course because I knew all the benefits of fasting, and I was willing to use myself as a, as a guinea, guinea pig to see where this road would take us. Well, guess what? After doing fasting on and off, right? I wasn't consistently fasting, but over the period of about, you know, I would say two, three months, heart palpitations went away. Didn't get them while I was fasting, didn't get them while I was not fasting, and they never came back. That was six years ago, maybe seven years ago. All right. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about heart health. Alternate day fasting is incredible for heart health. You don't have to do a 30-day fast or a 21-day fast to get benefits from fasting. 24 hours is enough, especially if you're using it consistently and you're doing it properly by doing your prep and doing a smart refeed, right? We talked about that earlier, eating the fruits and vegetables. So you're going to, um, you're going to improve your heart health. You're going to lower what they call bad cholesterol. You're going to begin the process of cleansing the blood. You know, what, what blocks the arteries and what clogs up your system is particulates and contamination in the blood. And this, this, these are, this is you know, microplastic and um, uh, uh, just pollutants from your, from your food, the, the stuff they spray, you know what I mean, on the crops, the pesticides. It's the air you breathe, the water you drink. The, the, the microscopic contamination that we're constantly coming in contact with that they're, we're really not aware of, it gets it, it seeps into the blood because guess what? The liver becomes low functioning. The kidneys become low functioning. Our bowel move, we're not having proper bowel movements. We're not eliminating well. We breathe shallow. We're not breathing the contamination out like we're supposed to be. So over time, it builds up in your system. It starts to create plaque. Um, also, we consume a lot of inorganic material. They put inorganic material in our cereal, uh, in all the processed foods. You know, it's in our water supply. The tap water is full of it. And the crystals and the crud that build up in that gets in your bloodstream. It starts uh, creating lacerations in your in your, your veins and your arteries. And cholesterol is sent there to do the repair work. It's a mess. So guess what? You start fasting. The body's able to start clear, clean, cleaning the blood. That opens up your arteries. It removes that plaque. I mean, it's it's incredible what the body is capable of doing when you just you understand how it functions. You don't have to, um, you know, take a particular medication or do anything extreme. You just got to give the body a couple of natural resources and it'll do the rest of the work for you. The alternate day fasting is great for this. Um, you could typically get away with alternate day fasting without telling people because they're not going to really notice anything, you know, crazy. It's not going three days without eating. You know, you could easily just be like, yeah, I'm not hungry today. And one of the things that people that do long term fasting, they deal with um, people wanting to check in on them and make sure they're good. And it becomes this whole big thing with alternate day fasting. You keep it super simple. Hey, 
Um, yeah, I'm just not, in, I'm not hungry. I had something to eat earlier, earlier being yesterday. Uh, you could just say little things like that and get away with it. And people really don't know what you're doing, um, which is, is okay. If you have a group of people that aren't going to support what you're doing and you know what you're doing is going to be beneficial, just do it behind the scenes. And then later when you had the results, you could talk about it. Now, here's a big one. And this one affects, um, <clears throat> you know, the African-American community ex at an exponential rate. And this is diabetes. Now, y'all know we call it the sugar. So type 2 diabetes is very easy to rectify through a simple fasting regimen like alternate day fasting. We know that type 2 diabetes is, is an environmental uh, disease, means it comes from your eating habits. And, you know, within 30 days of fasting, you can eliminate type 2 diabetes. Now, is it going to go away forever? No. If you go back to the poor eating habits, it will come back as well. There's no magic here. However, if you know that you want to make a dietary change and you're looking for a way to kind of ease yourself into it, alternate day fasting is a great option to help you focus on eating more efficiently um, while also tackling something big like diabetes. And diabetes is not the only thing you could tackle using alternate day fasting. I mean, virtually most of the diseases that we deal with can be tackled with fasting. Right. A lot of the uh, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar, um, you know, even thyroid issues, like I mentioned, hormonal issues and things of that nature can be rectified with a light fasting schedule, especially if you couple it with raw food, because you'll be getting nutrition that you just haven't been getting in years, if ever. OK, so you could you could probably reverse type two diabetes in 30 days, even using an alternate day schedule, if you keep your eating tight. And like I mentioned earlier, um, I would also cut out any processed drinks, coffee, stuff like that will hinder your ability to kind of like reverse it. Uh, you can lean into like fresh juice. You can lean into infused water. Herbal teas are amazing. And then if you guys want to, you can always supplement if you want to. So if you wanted to couple with your alternate day fasting schedule, a really intentional supplement um, that would also help boost. Number one, it's going to help you cleanse, which is important, right? Less detox symptoms, more benefit, but also it's going to give the body the, the nutrients that has been asking for for only Lord knows how long. Obviously, we are affiliated with the Root Wellness brand, so we've been talking about their supplement uh, package for a very long time. This would couple great with, um, I would probably do like the Relive Greens, Clean Slate. And um, you could actually just start with those two. Those would be great. The Relive Greens is a green supplement that has uh, just, it's it's packed full of minerals and um, has a probiotic and a prebiotic. It's great for the gut. It's It's just, it's nourishing. So that way you don't, you have to, if, especially if you're new to fasting, or you just you feel a little weird, or maybe you don't want to lose weight too fast, or, or whatever the case may be. If you're just nervous about the process, um, supple supplementing with something, uh, uh, you know, like a whole vitamin like that would help to put your mind at ease. Because remember, you don't have to get n nutrition specifically by eating whole food. You're definitely not getting it from eating a bag of chips. So by getting a supplement that that you know has really high quality raw materials used to to manufacture it, um, this will kind of just help make things a little bit more seamless. Because you know maybe even doing alternate day fasting for thirty days sounds like a lot to you. Well, grab yourself some you know Relive Greens, and then you don't really have to worry about it. Um, it's just it's just a really great supplement. And then of course Clean Slate that's going to help remove the stuff from your system that's you know, impeding progress, um, you know, creating malabsorption. And, uh, you know, we just have a, a ton of testimonials for Clean Slate. Anyway, these are a few really incredible benefits that you could get from um, alternate day fasting. One last benefit I'll talk about as kind of like a cherry on top, mental clarity, focus, and stability. You, One of the issues that we deal with in spades in modern time we're mentally unstable, and that causes issues across the board, relationships, work-related uh, work issues. Um, if you want to learn something new, literally across the board, if you're mentally unstable, you have a hard time processing information. You, you, your, your emotions can become erratic. 
um, you're it's it's a problem. We know that. And it's something we deal with at a, at a rate higher than um, any other group of humans in history. Right. We are we are at the pinnacle of mental instability right now. So if you want to regain your mental stability and, and you guys know, you know, if you like be mad for no reason, like, you know, when you are overreacting, you know, you might not want to admit it to anybody's face. But, you know, when you get into your little closet, your little prayer closet, you get in your mirror, you get in your bed and you're by yourself. You're like, dang, why did I act like that? mental instability part of that is hormonal imbalance but these are these are this is all you know together right so this process of regularly alternate day fasting is going to boost your mood you're going to you're going to boost your mood your mental stability is going to boost your energy you're, you're going to perform better as a human being which we need we need that we need high performing human beings right now because uh it seems like everybody is low vibration right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. I had a lot of fun doing this video, something I've been wanting to do for a while. I was going through my list. I'm like, let's talk about alternate day fasting. It is a great tool. Um, I will let you all know we do have the JR72, which is a fasting regimen we're putting together right now that's going to be launching in July. We're not announcing the dates yet. Give us a couple of weeks. We want to get a few more things in place. We're going to announce it probably second week of May. And then you guys can start joining the JR 72 is going to be the biggest challenge that we have had. We're going to be, we're going to be doing a deep dive on cleansing the body, removing all the hindrances and things that we kind of mentioned today. We're going to remove this stuff from the system. We're going to focus on it for 30 days. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be unlike any challenge we've ever done. Um, I, I, I listen, it's going to be great for entry level people who are just getting started just you want to be on the lookout for that. So um, if you just want to make sure to stay up to date with us, join our community at ahacommunities.com, www.ahacommunities.com. Come join us. That way, when we launch it, you guys will be the first to know. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I will see you all next time.